So this is the inside of the house. This is the foyer. The double doors here is the study, which can be an office, and it has the full open doors, tall doors. And then over here straight ahead, you have French doors leading up to the pool, and this is like a little foyer room here. So you've got this little foyer room here. And then over here, You've got a dining room. I'll try to go slow so I can show you guys. Okay, and then past the study here. Is Two walk-in closets for the master and the master also has French doors, plantation shutters on all the windows and the master bedroom here leads out to the pool. Okay, so you can open the door to the master. and go straight out into the pool area. And the hot tub is very easy to heat. It's a gas hot tub. And it's beautiful here at night, sitting in the hot tub. Okay, so this is the master. Then going down the hallway, you have the master bath. You've got two walk-in closets. The woman's and the, a man's walk-in closet, all wood shelving inside it. And then it leads into this master bathroom. And the master bathroom has a full shower. It has um, a his and her countertop and it has a garden tub and plantation shutters on all of the windows. And has a small bathroom area here. And it has a linen closet right here. And again, this is the master bathroom. Okay, and let me go down the hallway, past the his and her closets, and then you go out, and you can see the formal dining room, and you can also see the foyer room here that also leads out into the pool area. Okay, and then you come over here. You're looking in your living room, you're looking into your kitchen. The pantry's right there has wood shelving also. The closet mate shelving was upgraded to a type of board. So it's got nice wood in the pantry. And then you have a small hallway here and it leads to two bedrooms. This is bedroom one. And after going in this bedroom, you look over here to your left and you have a Jack and Jill bathroom here. Then it has a bath in here and a shower. So the towel goes all the way up to the ceiling. That is the door that closes off. And then you have another room here. And this room can be your second bedroom. The full size closet. And we also put some wings board up very similar to what we saw in the model when we built the house. Okay, and then you come into here and you could see that is your living room. And that is your little kitchen nook where you eat if you don't want to eat in the formal dining room and then you can have bar chairs here which we just moved them to the new house 
and this is the kitchen. Okay, and again, even while you're eating dinner, you are looking out at the beautiful pool area and the gardens, which is really relaxing and nice. And you come down here, go out and look at the pool area. The good feature about the pool area is that it's like a little peaceful getaway. You have this little alcove here that comes off the foyer. French doors open there and the French doors open in a master. And we've continued the brick paver pool deck out to the sides to the gates on both sides of the house. And you have the gardens, pool sweep, keeps the pool pristine, no ugly screen over the pool. And it's really nice because we're not near a wood, so it doesn't get buggy back here at all. So you can just watch the stars from the hot tub at night. It's really nice. And then again, the brick pavers go all the way down the side. So it's really nice. If you have to walk around the side of the house, it's easy to maintain. And again, there's the pool. Get the pool sweep going. And it's a beautiful day in the garden. That's also a rain fountain. It's not on right now, but it works beautifully and it has a little waterfall going down too. And we have the colored lighting in the pool with all the different color laser lights that come on at night. Coming back in the French doors. There's a pool bath back here with a full shower. And then you have another door to outside. We do have the child alarms on all the doors. We also have a motion detector for the swimming pool so that you can relax knowing that it will go off if anything should fall into the pool. This is another bedroom. Okay, then we go over here. And because of COVID, I wanted to do this video so that you could really see the house if you couldn't make it down here. You could just look at it. Okay, then we have the little wine dining room area. And it's right here. Okay, and this leads towards the three-car garage down this hallway. And um, if you go down the hallway here, you have the laundry room. And it has all these nice hooks to hang things on, plantation shutters, and it has tons of cabinet space, and it also has a full sink, which is really nice. So it gives you a lot of room in this laundry room. It's really convenient and nice, and it's right off the garage. When you step out into the garage, you've got a three-car garage. And as you can see, a three-car garage is really necessary for most people. Okay, so now we're gonna go over here. Now we're gonna go to the staircase and turn the light on. And these stairs were, um, professionally installed wooden stairs to match the rest of the house and it has a little railing and you go up the stairs and it's nice and private back here so if you have a teenager or something they really get their privacy in the back of the house and as you'll notice it has super plush thick with a thick pad carpet that is so soft it's great and it's brand new very upgraded and then plantation shutters throughout the upstairs also and the upstairs is basically used for us mainly as just a little getaway room right now but um, it's great for a teenager as you can see it can either be a game room with pool table and wet bar or it can be a room for a teenager it has a full-size closet in there um, tons of space in here and as you can see it has real cute features like the little circle window and 
has this little area here that some people actually put in a bar, in a wet bar, and they have a high cafe table here and a pool table where I'm standing. And you can do that or you can use this room for a teenager who needs privacy and wants their own little living room area and bedroom. Then you go in here and you've got a full size, nice linen closet straight ahead. And then you also have a nice sink area. And the sink area here is pretty big with nice cabinets underneath, ceramic tile floor, and again, the tiles go all the way to the ceiling and the shower. And then it's such a wide bathroom, you have enough room for a little table and mirror. So it's pretty big bathroom. It's one of the great features is the upstairs, especially if you have teenagers, it's perfect. I'm gonna turn it up and step out here. Okay, and that is the tour basically of the house. So you have this upstairs bonus room with a full bathroom. You have a Jack and Jill bathroom and a bedroom on each side. You have the pool bath in the back, full size pool bath, and you've got a bedroom next to that. And then you have the master bedroom downstairs. You have a formal dining room, an informal place to eat, a living room, a foyer room, and a library slash study if somebody wants to have an office. And again, now I'm going down the stairway and you can see that there's a little landing here and the stairs go up. Okay, and you can put a beautiful picture up there. We haven't done it, but you can see we do have plantation shutters here. And then you go down. If you have a small dog, like we have that one small dog, you can cord it off like we have a dark wood fence there. And we never let him upstairs ever. Because the carpet is pristine and it's brand new. And everything. And that's it. That's the tour of 1253 Bella Vista Circle. I hope you've enjoyed the tour. And um, just contact me at um, my email address or the cell phone number listed on the for sale by owner and get back to me if you are interested in this little 3,000, about 500 square feet home in the gated community of Bella Vista. Bye.